Hello everybody, welcome, and we are here today at the Yacht and Beach Club Resorts to eat at one of the smallest and one of the cheapest, but also one of the best restaurants here on Walt Disney World property, and that is none other than the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. I am so psyched to get this food. It is an awesome place. So let's head on in there and grab some delicious food. The Beaches and Cream Soda Shop is over here at the Yacht and Beach Club Resort. It's kind of in between the two, out of along, sort of along the boardwalk area. And it is a great place to eat. It's sort of themed after like the old sock hops back in the day, old soda shops. And I really love that about it. It's just kind of like this unassuming little location. I kind of feel like it could be one of those places that had roller skates back in the day with the roller skating waiters and waitresses. Yeah. And one of the things that makes the restaurant so interesting to me is that the food itself it's kind of like a greasy spoon like diner. It's not like fancy yeah. uh, Disney food. It's not like your standard mass produced Disney food. It's almost just kind of like this like greasy spoon. So they've got like burgers and fries and grilled, grilled cheese. cheese and they've got um, like a Reuben sandwich. Um, but they also have amazing ice creams. So they have all sorts of like humongous sundaes. They have this, um, huge Sunday called the kitchen sink which is a whole can literally I mean every time they bring it out they do this sort of siren thing where they announce it to the whole entire crowd they put an entire can of whipped cream on top of it basically it has almost every topping for ice cream that they have in the entire restaurant put into one giant kitchen sink Sunday we've actually tried the kitchen sink Sunday before I don't really like it so we're probably not gonna get it again today no. they do have a chocolate lovers version which we've never actually tried but I also don't know that I would really like that. I feel like it would be so much chocolate yeah. that I don't know that I could eat it. The other thing about the place is it's really small on the inside. It was actually even smaller than it is now. Um, they actually expanded it because there was so much demand for people trying to get into this restaurant that they actually uh, made it bigger. And it's still really small. Yeah, it's tiny. So it's really hard to get reservations here. Um, it, it's, it is difficult, but if you stay on it, I feel like I never have a problem just because I'm, I'm always looking. Like, if you look... I feel like I can always find one. But if you're, you're looking at far in advance, you really can't. But if you're here and you're like, I don't know what I want to do for dinner the next few days or today even, like just keep looking. And more often than not, I find one. Yeah. I found one today for seven people. And with a tiny of a restaurant, that's pretty difficult to find. And I was able to get it yesterday yeah. to come today. So. And we are here for our daughter's birthday, yes. um, which is actually tomorrow, her birthday. Yeah. Um, but we're here for sort of a birthday celebration. So we've got, well, we, we're going to have seven people. We only, we only have six, but it's still going to be kind of a fun time. But I'm anxious to get in here. I don't know what I'm going to get, though. I'm probably going to, I think we might actually share a meal yeah. so that we can get ice cream. Because usually when we come here, we eat, like the food portions are pretty big. So when you each get a meal, like I can't even hardly get the yeah. Sunday, or I can't even enjoy my Sunday at the yeah. end. Because after like two bites, I'm like, ugh, yeah. and I've wasted so much money. Because I, I spent money on this pretty big Sunday, and then I can't even eat it. So again, you can see like this is just such a beautiful place right here behind yeah, us. You can see the pool, uh, the actual restaurants right over here. But if you look around, you can kind of just see this like awesome boardwalk. The boardwalk hotel is actually over there. There's all sorts of there's like the Jelly Rolls Dance Hall, Atlantic Dance Hall over here, or Jelly Rolls Club, and there's just a lot of cool things here. So it's an awesome place to hang out. Um, and and the table's ready. <laughs> and our table's ready, so we're gonna head over there right now. The other thing that you can do here is when you come and visit for the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop, if you have a reservation, you can walk over to Epcot from here and hop on the Skyliner, yep. um, do like kind of a Skyliner tour, go between the different hotels. You can even go into Epcot if you want. Um, so it's kind of a cool thing. Uh, you can park here, eat at the restaurant, and then hang out and go over to maybe Epcot or do the Skyliner. Uh, I wouldn't do that to try to get around the parking situation or, instead of driving to Epcot. Um, but if you're already here and you kind of want to do that, you might as well. All right, we are about to head inside. But before we do that, I want to talk about the menu because it's pretty loud in there. Um, so I'm going to talk about the menu right now. They don't have any paper menus anywhere still, so we just kind of have to go through the phone. Um, but the food here is really actually pretty decent. 
As I mentioned earlier, the food that they have here is kind of just like a greasy spoon. It's kind of like a diner. Um, they do have lunch and dinner, but the, the menu is exactly the same. Um, so they have things like the Angus beef burger. They've got a French dip, which is actually really good here. They do have a plant-based burger. They have a grilled cheese uh, that comes with tomato soup. You can do bacon or ham on that. Um, I think that's actually what we're going to go for, but we're going to do the grilled cheese and ham with french fries. It does come with a side dish, so those prices include a side dish. And I think instead of the creamy tomato soup, like I said, we're going to get fries. The Reuben sandwich, which is kind of a classic. Um, I have had that here. It is very, very good. And then they have things like chili cheese tots, regular tots, cheese and bacon tots. They have french fries, onion rings. I will say their tater tots are not that great. They're just kind of like standard uh, tater tots that you would maybe just buy at the store and put in uh, you know, the oven to cook them. So they're not like anything amazing. I think the best tater tots I've ever had were at Old Red. Uh, so check out that review. I'll link to it below if you're interested in tater tots. And then what's really this place is all about is their desserts. They have amazing desserts. Strawberry shortcake. Um, this is the kids menu down here, which is similar to what you see above. You've got, uh, but they do have some different options like the turkey sandwich, a chicken sandwich. They do have a hot dog, uh, mac and cheese, and then you have different sides you can choose from, like grapes, watermelon, carrots, yogurt, etc. They have a Mickey Mouse sundae, which is a kid's sundae. Then they've got all sorts of shakes, and then down here is where you find the big sundaes that they're mostly famous for. This is the kitchen sink. Take a look at this monster, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip, ice cream. It's topped with hot fudge, peanut butter, Snickers, brownies, all the additional toppings that they have in the restaurant. An entire can of whipped cream is dumped on this thing. And like it says, they have a chocolate lovers or Neapolitan version. It's $35. They got the classic banana split. They have the fudge mudslide, a Snickers sundae, and then they have a couple of old fashioned sundaes. No way, Jose. I did actually check when we got here. They do actually have peanut butter today. They said it's not the uh, brand that's under recall, but they do have it. So technically, we could get the No Way Jose. As I mentioned, we have gotten the kitchen sink before. I don't really care for it. Um, it's just too many weird flavors blended together. I mean, it's got chocolate vanilla ice creams, but it also has things like mint chocolate chip in there. I love mint chocolate chip ice cream, but like when you put mint chocolate chip in with a bunch of other stuff, it overwhelms like it's that's pretty much all you can taste and it melts really quickly so as everything just starts like turning into this soup then you have all these toppings on there like caramel and hot fudge and nuts which sounds amazing but then when you start thinking wait there's also pineapple and strawberry in here it starts to get weird and I just feel to me all those flavors mixing together it's a cool idea um, it is something that I think is worth doing at least once um, to try it out uh, and, and especially if you have a lot of people um, and you can they give you like scoops and bowls so you can scoop things out and put it in separate bowls if you're worried about like double dipping or anything like that but again it's just not my favorite we've done it probably won't do it again we haven't ever tried the chocolate lovers like I said um, which I think might be better because it probably cuts down on the weird combinations of like pineapple plus hot fudge and you know uh, peanut butter sauce so it's more just like chocolate I guess but again I don't know if it's great or not because it's so much just chocolate but if we do ever try the kitchen sink again I think we'll try the chocolate lover one just to see so our table is ready let's head in I'm starving here we are hanging out at our table we actually got a nice table with uh, like a booth yeah we never get this we table. never get like a booth yeah. table so I mean it's only half a booth so everyone on that side of the table <laughs> kind of got the shaft <laughs> uh, say hello to the fam this is Candy. I think you all know her. That's my daughter, Lexi, right Rina. there. We call her Rena. We've got Austin here. We've got Wendy. Cousin. And we've got my man, Nick, right there, which <laughs> is uh, them two are together. So Rena and Nick and then Wendy and Austin are also together. So, yeah, say hi, everybody. Hi. It's hard to, like, get everybody in the same. It's, like, it's like hard. You're gonna have to like man. Okay, so what does everybody think of Beaches and Cream, the restaurant? What do you got? I mean, you have never been here, right? That's they're new, but we four have been here. So what do we think of it? I love it. I like it. It's good. Uh, 
get a lot of ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Whichever one you choose is a lot of ice cream. Yeah. You're usually full by the time you're, you want to order ice cream, so order something smallish or share. That's my recommendation because ice cream's huge. Absolutely. What did you get? You order? Reuben. You got the Reuben. I got a burger. Burger. Chili cheese cheddar tots. So Nick was smart. He just got the tots. <laughs> Are you getting ice cream? Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. He's, gonna, he's going light on just getting the tots. Uh, and then maybe ice cream? I got the French dip. Oh, the French dip it's is so great. It's so good. And then we got the grilled ham and cheese, and we're just going to share it. Because yeah. I'm really kind of wanting to eat some ice cream. I'm, I, <laughs> ever since they told us we were coming here yesterday, I've been dying for some ice cream. So we're going to go light on the food and heavy on the ice cream today. I, I noticed in this light, you can't tell. It looks like I just have a little bell on my ears. But, like, they're actual ears. But, look, if I go back here, you can only see. You can still can't. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm super amped because we got a virtual pass for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind <laughs> again. So as soon as we're done eating here, we are going to walk over to the entrance, actually it's over that way, uh, to Epcot, and we're going to hop on Cosmic Rewind, and then we're probably just going to leave. It's really worth like going there just to ride that ride one time and leave. Because the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary celebration is going on right now, they have a special 50th celebration shake here, which looks pretty interesting. It says it has birthday cake, birthday, I don't know what I just said, birthday cake, okay, I'm having trouble reading that. Birthday cake flavored shake drizzled in gold glitter glaze, topped with a slice of commemorative 50th uh, celebration birthday cake for $16. I don't know what gold glitter glaze is. I don't know what that tastes like, butterscotch or just sugar, maybe caramel, I don't know. It looks kind of cool. I don't know. I'm not going to lie, that cake actually looks pretty good. It's got all the different colors on there. I think it looks good. Our food has arrived and it looks so good. And check this out. Ketchup. Anything that has these little squeezy, old, old-timey squeeze ketchup bottles. And... They also have the mustard. Just automatically makes it better. This food looks so good though, I cannot wait to dig in. My grilled cheese sandwich is literally dripping with butter. Like it's so greasy. I picked it up and like my hand is now glowing with a sheen of oil. Um, which most people are like, ooh, that's, that means it's like not good food. That means it's good to me. Yum. It looks so good. So she got... So I'm going to show these really quickly. She got the French dip. It looks so good. It's this humongous, it's huge, this humongous hoagie roll with all this like roast beef on it. She's got fries on the side. And she got the chili cheese fries. Or, did you get fries or tops? Yeah, she got the chili cheese fries. It looks awesome. Austin got the Reuben, which is a corned beef on a marbled rye with Thousand Island dressing and sauerkraut, which looks amazing. I love sauerkraut. I could eat like a whole bucket of sauerkraut and fries. Wendy got the burger, the cheeseburger and fries, which looked pretty awesome. And Nick got his heaping helping of chili cheese tots. Man, that looks really good. The uh, the cheese on top looks like a sauce. What is it? Is it like a, why is there a white and a yellow sauce? Oh, so it's, there's a cheese sauce and sour cream on it and chives. Those chili cheese tots look so good. It's like, it's like a baked, it's like a loaded baked potato. I didn't know, I didn't actually know it had cheese sour cream, chives and onions on it too, and chili. It looks so good. And if you ever want hot sauce here like I do, I got it for my, got it for my fries. Like they literally gave me like a whole bowl. A whole bowl. And it's good, it's super hot. I get very hot. How's the grilled cheese? Oh me. Very good. I mean, look at it. He asked me a question. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> yeah, how is it? I was like, huh? Um, it's really good, mine's almost hot. <laughs> Oh, good, good. How's the food? Amazing. Boston? Uh, Help say what you just said. Um, uh, I'll never not get this here. I'm really weird about meat, but I'm like this meat's amazing. It's good. It's really good. Any left? <laughs> 
Yum. I looked at her grilled cheese and it was gone. And I, I like here, I've taken like one bite and hers is completely gone already. This is the happy dance when my food is delicious. I just took a bite and I think I got a whole pack of cheese in my mouth. It was amazing. Look at this. That's how you know it's a good grilled cheese. Look at this thing. Oh yeah, banana split time. I mean, yum. Cherry number one. Cherry number two. Cherry number three. This thing is an absolute monster. I did not realize how big this thing was when I got it. It's huge. Is it? Oh, it's so good. I mean, mine's going to be gone soon. I'm probably going to eat the whole thing. Amazing. Snickers is one of my favorite candies, so can't go wrong. It's so good. Delicious. I had to destroy mine in a plate, though. <laughs> I don't know what happened. As I mentioned earlier, we're here for Weena's birthday, so they brought her out a cute little birthday cupcake. It's got like a little shell on it. It reminds me of like Little Little Mermaid. It's really cute. And, um, they even did the lights and everything. We thought, we thought they were bringing out a kitchen sink and it was actually just her yeah. cupcake, so. There's the aftermath of my banana split. The bananas were buried sort of down there underneath the bottom. It's kind of hard to find them, but they were in there. Man, I'm just stuffed. I can't, I can't eat anymore, but it was so good. Yum. Here's the crew. We just finished Beaches and Cream. Oh my gosh, it was so good. What'd you guys think? Amazing. Amazing. Good as always. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very, very cool. <laughs> like, I can't even breathe. I'm good. I can take And it's it. hot out here, so. I'm, I literally can't breathe. <laughs> Best ice cream ever. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do the outro. I can't breathe. It was so good. Anyway, I, I'm literally, I, I can't say enough good things about that restaurant. I think it's awesome. I just, my favorite part about it is it doesn't, I mean, it does end up costing a lot once you like pile all the ice cream and everything on it. But I feel like individually, like the the food and the ice cream isn't that expensive. I feel like it's one of the cheaper places at Disney. Um, again, I love it. So hope you've all enjoyed this. Happy birthday to the birthday girl, Wienaru. Ooh, say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, whatever. I don't know. So anyway, uh, thanks for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, don't forget to check out our channel for all the other content. We'll have another great video for you again tomorrow. Until we see you. The noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>